Hi, my name is uh, Rick Rupp. I'm a full-time prayer leader in the Night Watch here at the Kansas City International House of Prayer. And out of the place of giving myself to an extravagant lifestyle of worship and prayer, the Lord has opened up doors in the islands of the South Pacific, specifically uh, Fa'arau, a jungle village of 250 people in 2008. And while I was in the place of uh, worship and prayer with them in their church building one evening, Pastor Elbert, the pastor of the Jungle Village, asked me to link hands together with him and one of the elders named Jepson. And he said, Rick, would you link hands and would you pray to God and ask him how he would have you to link together with us? At that moment, I didn't even know I wanted to link together with them, but I grabbed their hands. We bowed in prayer and I says, God, do you want me to link together with this Jungle Village of Fa'arau? I thought I was just visiting. I bow my head and the Lord speaks. He says, Rick, if you will help them build a bridge in the natural, I'll birth a 24 seven prayer house right here in this jungle village of Fa'arau. I'm thinking, God, why would you ask a prayer guy with such low income? Why wouldn't you give a ministry like this to a marketplace guy? Regardless of my low income, the Lord provided, we wired them the money, and nine months later, the bridge was built. And not only that, God was faithful to his word, and he birthed a 24-7 prayer house right in Fa'arau, Solomon Islands, in a jungle village that nobody knows about, with no electricity and no running water. So after the bridge is built, we return again with another team, and I'm anxious to see an evangelistic outreach with the youth on this island, and so I asked Pastor Albert and Aaron, uh, about that, and he says, oh, Rick, we need sanitary drinking water. We walk two miles to the river to fetch our water. And at that point, God spoke to me, Rick, help them to get sanitary drinking water. I said yes. After two years of fundraising, we had all the resources to return with an international team. It took us two weeks. We arrived in August. By September 5th, we had the well in, the water tanks were full and the water was flowing. And for the first time in their lives, children are now drinking sanitary drinking water in the village of Fa'arau. As a result of what God birthed in Fa'arau, God has ambushed my heart to help more islands that are in crisis for sanitary drinking water. And the government met with me and they asked me if we could repeat this model, birthing more prayer houses, bringing more rigs and training the men who are jobless how to use a well rig, how to put in wells, and how to supply sanitary drinking water. And the funds that they would generate from the rig would then fund their churches and their prayer houses. This vision was birthed out of the place of worship and prayer. And now the doors are open to go and preach the gospel in both Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands. I need your help. To remain a full-time prayer missionary, I need monthly partners to come alongside. I need people who will pray and fast for us and cover myself and our team as we travel to these nations. God wants to birth more houses of prayer. God wants to see more people in poverty empowered to be able to provide income for their villages. Will you partner with me? Thank you.